is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the after Good morning guys. It feels so good to vlog. I haven't vlogged in over a week So this feels awesome. I missed you guys. I missed talking to the camera I missed filming and getting in touch with my creative side, but I have this entire week off. I just had last week off too. So I have two weeks off from work and I have decided to take this time to just do like a spring rejuvenation camp with myself i guess last week i was in florida the whole week spending time with my family which was super needed and honestly like just healing and nurturing in its own way and this week i am at home for the whole week and basically what i'm going to be doing is just fully taking care of myself getting my health back on track i'm going to be cleaning out my apartment i'm going to be getting rid of most of my clothes not most a big portion of my clothes that i don't even wear anymore i have so many sweaters that i didn't even wear this winter once so it's time to say sayonara to them i'm going to be eating super clean this week i am getting dinner i believe with friends tomorrow night but other than that I'm going to be making my green smoothies, eating my fruit bowls, cooking dinner at home. I'm going to be going for my walks. I'm gonna take you guys along with me and show you like my routine, what I'm eating, what supplements I'm taking. It's basically just getting myself back together just so that I can be fully refreshed and go back to work energized, rejuvenated, and happy to be there. I think it's really important if you've been traveling a lot to just take time to really take care of yourself, reset if you need to, get quiet, listen to your body, listen to what's going on in your own mind, things you need to work through. I know it's not always possible for everyone to do this and I'm acknowledging that. I'm acknowledging that I have the privilege to do this and I'm very grateful. I can hear people doing workouts outside. That needs to be me. I need to get my caboose outside, start walking. I'm gonna put on a Skinny Confidential podcast and I am ready to tear up those sidewalks. <laughs> okay, it is a smoothie time. I, so far, I have in here one cup of coconut milk, unsweetened always, one cup of organic coconut water, a couple teaspoons of bee pollen just for energy and vitality, a couple teaspoons of, or maybe like a tablespoon of flaxseed for fiber. I have a, dumped a ton of cinnamon in there, I always do. About a tablespoon of spirulina. I like to put a lot of spirulina. This is the highest form of plant protein. Just a ton of minerals. It's good at fighting candida. It's just, it makes your skin glow, which is my favorite part about it. And it gives you a ton of energy. And then coconut butter to make it super creamy and give it like a healthy fat, it's super satiating. It's all in here. And I'm just going to Turn that on. And obviously I put in spinach and mint. I, obviously, I mean, it's a green smoothie. But I put in a ton of spinach and a ton, like, like three handfuls of spinach and maybe like two sprigs of mint leaves in here. Mint gives it this really refreshing, different kind of taste. Now that that smoothie is gone, I'm going to take my supplement. So I've kind of switched it up lately and I take a very specific array of supplements right now and I will share. So I already took this, but I usually spray one spritz of this vitamin B12. I do this for brain health, overall mood balance, blah, blah. I've been taking DIM again. I just started doing this again for estrogen Come on, focus for estrogen balance. I've been taking Adrenal RX by Erwan Market I got a few months ago. I'm really working on just healing my body, healing my adrenals. I feel like when I work too much, drink too much caffeine, they tend to get burnt out, especially if I have an irregular sleep schedule. I'm getting back into a regular sleep schedule right now, so I'm taking these, and hopefully they'll help. They're basically just filled with a bunch of herbs. Ashwagandha, Cordyceps, Shashandra, Ginseng, Rhodiola. It's all really good for your stress hormones. This is a turmeric supplement. Supplement Curcumin is like the, the root, the pure, not root, but like the turmeric is a root, the purest form, the essence of 
turmeric and it's just an extremely potent anti-inflammatory great for your skin helps with like joint pain and then i take a omega-3 supplement this stuff is great omega-3 is just good for like so much well for starters hair nail and skin omega-3 is like essential for but it's also great for inflammation it's good for your brain health it's good for mood balance it is good for it's like an essential essential nutrient that you need if you're trying to lose weight and this one tastes really good you get it at whole food you keep it in the fridge you pour it in here it tastes like lemon yogurt or something I really like it and that's it really i'm actually going to go ahead and take this zinc supplement i haven't taken zinc in a few days skin gut and immune support so i feel like this can't hurt right now especially with the change in the seasons going on okay so i'm packing up all of my sweaters and my winter clothes i've got all my jeans laid all my pants laid out over here like i've got my sweatpants here my jeans here these none of these are skinny jeans I'm actually so on board with this whole like skinny jeans aren't in anymore. I'm here for it. Oh my god, my hair looks crazy. I'm I've been over skinny jeans for a while. I love like that loose 90s baggy kind of pants. Oh my god, there were a pair of jeans that I had when I was like, I don't know how old I was. I had to be 7, 8. I wish I could find a picture of it, but they had Do you remember the brand that had the little footprints on it? And they were these huge baggy wide leg jeans with like the little like hammer belt loop thing. I thought I was so cool when I wore that and I would wear it with this little I remember I had this shirt that had like one of those little zipper um, necklines with the little collar I need to find pictures of me in this outfit but that that was my favorite those pants were my favorite and I'm actually just fully living for these baggy pants coming back in style I have a pair of skinny jeans these have been my ride or die for like honestly almost 10 years they're from Urban Outfitters they're like the BDG label or whatever should i keep them i don't know just like yeah i'll keep them i'll keep them for memorabilia <laughs> and i can't decide if i want to keep this or not it's this funny like one piece that i've literally worn once it gets so freaking hot but i feel like it's just one of those things like i don't know when i'm gonna need a little onesie in the winter but it's just funny to me i'm gonna keep this this will just be for fun but i've got like these cargo pants that i really wish i bought in a medium because they're a little too tight but i also gained a little bit of weight so maybe i always drop weight in the summer so maybe they'll fit better in the summer love overalls leather pants the melina from aritzia and then I have sweat shorts. I want to get like one more pair of sweat shorts, I think. I feel like these are going to be big this spring and summer. I think I want like a gray pair. And then over here is a pile of clothes. So this pile, I'm just going to give away. I'm not even going to bother posting it on Poshmark. They're old, but they are still decent. They're just not like a, a nice brand or anything. So I just figured I'm not going to get any money really from these. So I might as well just give it away. I'm just whipping up a quick lunch. So it's not necessarily pretty, but it's going to be good. I've got a bed of spinach, some avocado. These are my leftovers from last night. Uh, tomato, some spicy brown mustard, some pickled jalapeno peppers, a bison burger patty. I have these two cauliflower pancake patties from Trader Joe's. They're so good. And then I have this fried egg. And it's all going to go on top of here, drizzle some olive oil, and mix it all up. And I'm really excited to eat it. So grateful. <laughs> I'm sad that those are container. I'm excited for the next one. They can expect from you. Mm, of course. And I, I do just have to thank both of you as well. For it's your body time for walk number two of the day. I'm probably going to go for like three total. I'm going to bring an Olipop with me because I want like, I was really craving like a sweet treat after my lunch. So Olipop is like perfect for that. You know? Because it's sweet, it's good, and then it's only like so, five grams of sugar in the cherry one. So good. I was like craving a cookie, but I know that this will hit the spot. I'm using my phone because I was too lazy to get up and go get my camera. But I'm actually in the middle of drinking tea that I made, it looks like mud water because it basically is. It is valerian root and lemon balm. And I put some Pa Darko powder in here, which is an herb that's really, it's a super bitter herb that's really good for getting rid of 
candida in your body, which is essentially this candida is supposed to be in your gut, but basically the overgrowth of it causes excess carbs and sugar cravings, irritability, uh, fogginess of the head. I have a tendency to get candida overgrowth in my, overgrowth in my stomach. Um, so I like to try to keep it in check by drinking Pa Darko and cutting back on my carbs every now and then. Although I did eat a pistachio croissant this evening and that's part of why I'm drinking that because I had the most intense craving for a croissant. So I ate it. But anyway, I'm in the middle of doing this to be magnetic workshop and I'm going to leave a link for it down below. For those of you who are curious, I bought the mem or the pathway membership or something like that. It's basically you get access to all the workshops. I think it's like 20 something a month or you can pay for it all up front. I just did one of the manifestations, they call or the meditations, they call them DIs, deep imagining. And within the first like three minutes, I had tears streaming down my face. This stuff is intense. I just wrote out a long list of what I want to call into my life when it comes to career, love life, and home life, which is super, it was just, it's really good for getting clear and I feel like I'm already accomplishing so much and I just started this course. It's pretty amazing and I'm really excited about this and I highly recommend anyone who just wants to up level, up level their life, why can't I speak tonight? And just get super clear on what they want and do some really deep inward work. I recommend checking this out. I've got my whole setup going on over here. I've got my book that I'm reading, uh, my secondary journal that I'm doing for the uh, To Be Magnetic workshops, a little matcha. This matcha has little to no caffeine in it. Like I said, I'm trying to cut out caffeine, hence the book over there. And then my chlorophyll water, which I've been finally like really getting back into lately. My regular journal and then my computer and I'm going to start responding to comments from my last video. I've been so busy in the past, I don't know, three, two, three days. Ironically, this was supposed to be my week of like doing my own thing, not really hanging out with people. And it's been within reason. So I've still been able to keep my routine for the most part. Made my infamous little fruit bowl. This one has strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, cacao, bee pollen, and coconut smoothie all over it. I just got back from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna go over everything that I bought. The grainless cassava and coconut tortilla chips with avocado oil, seeds, and seasoning. Gluten-free, grain-free. I'm really excited to try this out. There's bunnies hopping around all outside my window. It's the cutest thing. Makes me so happy. I love bunny rabbits. And it's becoming that time of year where they're like all over the place, especially this time of day, like when the sun's beginning to set, they all come out in the grass and they start eating. It's so cute. But anyway, so grainless tortilla chips, excited to try those. I guess that that's their answer to like siete chips. And then I, I was just in a very snacky mood and the worst thing in the world to do is to go to Trader Joe's when you are hungry, which I was. So I bought these little cheese bites, just two bags of organic spinach for my smoothies because I was running low. Oh, I saw these, I'm really curious about them. Crispy, crunchy, champ, champion mushroom. Look at how cute that packaging is. I love anything mushrooms. Like my blanket over there has mushrooms all over it. So this is so cute. The only thing that I wish was different is I wish they used a better oil instead of sunflower oil, like avocado, coconut, or olive oil. But this'll do, this'll just be like a fun little snack for now. I got some pomegranate seeds just because I love putting these in my fruit bowls. Oh my God. they. They, my fruit bowls are good without them, but they're just not the same unless you have pomegranate seeds in it. Some ground beef, 
I'm going to whip this up and just eat it with some of my lentil pasta and I have some Rayo's pasta sauce left. Organic ground beef, 100% grass fed. I always get grass, 100% grass fed or grass finished beef. And then I got these little chicken lime chicken burgers. I still have some of my stuff from when I made bison burgers on Sunday. So I'm going to use that leftover like tomato, lettuce pieces, and just do some like chip, some lettuce wrap chicken burger, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I've been dying to try these. If anyone has tried this already and have like a recipe that they recommend, the hearts of palm pasta, one ingredient, hearts of palm, that's so good. There's only two net carbs in this. That's like pretty cool if you're if you're a low carb eater like myself or try to be. You just throw it in a pan and heat it up. One of my friends told me that it was super good already, so I'm excited to try. Eggs, pasture raised. I was running out of pepper, so I got some pepper. And then I got a couple acerola shots and turmeric shots. I love these little things. They're quick, they're easy. Let me take one of these acerola shots now. I'm actually so thirsty. Mm. Ooh. So good. Very thirst quenching. Super high in vitamin C. Good for collagen production in your body. I got a couple of the coconut smoothies that you guys know I love in my fruit bowls. And then one last thing, which was like a guilty pleasure, but I wanted to just kind of hang out and binge YouTube this evening because I have nothing planned tomorrow. It's just a do what you want and enjoy yourself kind of night. I've been around people literally every day since Monday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I've been like constantly kind of around people. And today is finally like my day. So I'm just going to drink an Olipop and snack on these. Oh my God, they're so good. The chili lime flavored tortilla, flavored tortilla chips. These are not healthy. I'm not eating this. You know what's funny? Some people are like, oh, it's Trader Joe's. It's, it's like not that bad. The same thing with Whole Foods. Like. You can get, it, I don't wanna call food good or bad because I think everyone should eat intuitively, but to be mindful of what is better for them and what might not be, and to take care of themselves. I know that this isn't the best thing for me, but I like to indulge in it here and there, like I'm going to this evening. But the sun is beginning to go down and I really wanna go on a nice long stroll listen to a podcast. The podcast that I'm listening to right now, where's my phone? I don't know where my phone is, but it is the Almost 30 podcast, which I've been listening to since I was 25, actually. The title of the video is called, or the podcast is called, oh, okay, this is it. Episode 416, Lonely on Your Spiritual Path, question mark. And it's Krista Williams basically just talking about everything that you're gonna go through when you're going through intense personal spiritual growth and the people who you will lose in your life, which has happened with me for the better. It's still sad, but like, it's so interesting how when you really start making an effort to change yourself and live a better life, you don't, you don't compromise yourself for others the way you used to. And that pisses people off. And I'm not talking about relationships, I, I mean friendships too. It's crazy how other people can benefit from your own self-sabotaging behavior and people almost act like they're entitled to that behavior from you or that certain time spent with you in a certain way. It's just, it's wild. And um, it's crazy how when you really start just living in your own truth and authenticity, those people, and it can be messy sometimes, hopefully not, fall off or you might have to cut things off with them. It's not easy, but it's worth it in the long run because then that makes room for those good relationships and those actually like deep meaningful relationships to come through and evolve and bloom. And those are the people who stick with you for the rest of your life. Just wanted to share that podcast that I'm listening to right now. I have to go put all this stuff in the fridge and in the freezer and I need to get outside before the sun goes down.
Guys, my week has wrapped up officially of my little at home wellness retreat. I don't really know what else to call it. And I have to be honest, it was a, it was a good balance of fully taking care of myself and also enjoying little things like going out to dinner, having a reason to dress cute. I did order takeout once. I had a day where I did, a couple days where I did basically nothing. I would say that I walked about, let me see, an average of six miles a day. Some days I did over 10, some days I did a little bit less than five, so I'm just gonna like try to find the medium. But I stayed active, I stayed in a routine, which was the biggest thing for me. I just experienced one of the most stressful months of my life, and I think it all just kind of came to a head right before this week. So what I really needed was just to do essentially nothing. And I think everyone, if you're able to, if you have the opportunity, to just take advantage of vacation time, do it, because you can't pour from an empty cup. And that's something I'm really learning lately. No matter how hard you push yourself, you need recovery time. And I'm so glad I was able to do this. The other thing that has been a big theme of this week is just self-reflection. And I know the To Be Magnetic podcast and Workshops I've been doing have had a lot to do with that. So again, I'll leave a link for the website below and I recommend checking out their podcast if self-growth, self-worth, self-reflection is something that you wanna work on because I've already noticed big, I guess, revelations through doing this work. It's intense, I'll, I'll say that, but I go back to work this week. I'm so excited because it is a Charleston layover. I miss the South so much. I cannot wait to go down to Charleston. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to take care of yourself, to take some much needed me time if you're able to. My name's Vera. For those of you who are new here, please say hi in the comments. Let me know where you're from if you haven't already. That's my favorite thing to hear from people. What you liked about the video, what you wanna see next, or what you wanna see more of. Give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys and I will see you next week.